Yo, what's happening guys? Coach Joe from Zat Strength and the Grindhouse. We are in the Grindhouse right now. That's what I got going on. It's building and I'm pumped. Um, but on a serious note, this is what I want to make a video about. All right. Um, and this is something that I've been trying to work on myself so much, especially since I got my underground strength certification. Kudos to Zach Evanish. Thanks, brother. Um, but what we talked about when we were there is really just coaching and the art and the beauty of coaching and how, as a coach, you need to be analyzing everything. You know, from the moment that the, the client or the athlete walks in to the movement patterns to the, just their build and how they look and, and uh, their flexibility, their mobility, all that kind of stuff. So you need to be analyzing all the time. But as a coach, one thing that I do not accept at all and that I'm really working on myself and I'm getting a lot better the more that I practice it is the art of coaching good technique. And if you see somebody with bad technique, it is very easy to not say anything because you may feel awkward um, or, or you don't feel confident enough with yourself to correct them. And they may, may be older. So I'm 21. So I'm dealing with clients you know, who are, are all the way up in their 40s. And you know, sometimes I, I could feel like by saying this, maybe I'm inferior just because of just simply the age difference. But as a coach, they're coming to you for your professional structure, your, you know, all that your knowledge, your professional knowledge in the field. But as a coach, you need to make a vow to yourself that you cannot let bad form and bad technique slide. Because if they start with bad squats and then you try to put them under a barbell, they're, they're going to get hurt and they're going to get injured. And that directly reflects on your coaching. And, and that is just unacceptable. So being a coach, you really need to be on top of the technique and know the athlete in and out and what they need to work on and how to build them and, and their uh, progressions and regressions. Those are huge. So, you know, if you have someone who comes in, you need to build them from the, like it's a house, build them from the ground up. But the one thing I can't tolerate and it really pisses me the hell off is bad coaching and watching bad coaching really just makes me grind my jaw. And that's actually when I get fired up because I want to say something. And uh, sometimes I just hold it in because I don't want to make a scene or anything like that. But that really gets me fired up personally. So whenever you're out there and you're coaching and this is your profession and you take this seriously, you need to know that those people are coming to you for your professional um, input and how to get them better. So make sure that you're giving them everything you have and make sure that you're being a great coach. And as a coach, if you don't know something, look it up and practice it. Don't ever tell somebody to do something you've never done before uh, where you haven't looked up, you haven't researched in because then that's just bullshit. So be serious about it and, and uh, make sure you're coaching properly. If you have to, go to seminars and don't be afraid to reach out for help, like I said, or look up things or talk to people because there's people out there who are going to be way better at it than you are. So you need to learn from the best. Anyway, it's a Saturday. Time to kill it. Just worked out having some fun. Make sure you check out the blogs at strength.com. And if you ever want to get a session at the Grindhouse, it's pretty badass. If uh, it's not fancy enough for you, I'm sorry. Go to uh, Planet Fitness um, and do something over there. But this is where we work hard. Blood, sweat, and tears going in this place. Kicking ass and taking names. Peace.